Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Serbia. And what now? Well, I am contemplating a war against Venice. I could fight the Ottomans again, but it really feels like a bad idea. Oh, you're at war with the uh, Mamluks, Cyprus, Tlemkin and Najd. Yeah, you're gonna win. I mean, even if I were to attack them, we wouldn't get enough people to do it. So I think Venice. Venice with Austria, Poland, and Hungary. And then we can take some more. Okay, so um, to do this effectively, what I need to do is send my people up here and increase my army maintenance. Because we'll be attacking basically right away. We might need to take a loan or two, which is unfortunate, but necessary. And I am paying a lot for advisors. That is mainly due to the inflation that we have in. Okay, the truce with the Ottomans has expired. They might attack us now. We hope they don't. Now, although if they attacked me before I started the war, it would be them against uh, Lithuania, Poland, Hungary, Austria, Wallachia, and me. So that could be doable. For now, I feel like uh, attacking Venice. Let's wait for our morale to be full so that I can move into Treviso and not be killed by the Venetian armies. Also, we do have three diplomats. Um, right, we do have a marriage with Burgundy, so there is a chance for an inheritance. Let's just keep improving relations with them. Problem is allied with the knights. Just slightly weird. Uh, right, I do have the religious thing against Venice. So we don't have to worry about Cass's belly. Show superiority, we'll be fighting them. The knights, Genoa, Augsburg, Salzburg, Ravensburg and Naxos. And we lost our perfect favorite statesman, which is unfortunate. I'm not going to take a diplomatic advisor for now. Okay, our morale is full. It's time to declare war. Let's do it. Cleansing of heresy, and we're including Austria, Poland, and Hungary in this. And I don't want anyone to be co-belligerent, I think. Let's just go. And now, I am also going... To select those provinces as provinces of interest. Uh, well, maybe not those. That will damage our relationship with Hungary. Yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Uh, excuse me, if that happens. Soon. Oh, God damn it! it's so irritating. You know, when you try to... Uh, when you want to sneeze and can't for some reason. Um, I'm in the wrong screen. We're fighting Venice and nobody else has joined yet. Okay, let's um, unpause. And now people should have joined. Yes, they have. Ooh, I want Corsica as well. Yeah. Can I? Oh, let's go to the diplomatic map mode. Princess of interest. Give me Corsica. Do you want anything else? Well, maybe. We'll see. We have lots of people in the war. Let's move towards Treviso. Oh shit. I thought they would be on the island, but we're getting Austrian reinforcements. Also, the speed is too high. Come on, Austria. Here's Austria. Yeah, we have way more cannons, but we're losing anyway. Oh, damn it. No, that was such an easy attack. So close. You really need Treviso. Yeah, you get back there. Maybe take Verona first. We could start piecing people out. Who else is in the war? Yeah, I mean, uh, we could just attack separate people and then piece them out. Augsburg is. Let's take care of them first. Unless we get attacked. Although Treviso is now undefended, I'm going to go there again. And then hope for the best. No, no, bad idea. I mean, there's currently enemy troops there. Uh, relations with Burgundy have been improved. Just go to the ends because it's mountains. If, if we get attacked there, we'll win. Blockade. Admin power or unrest and autonomy. Zeta. Ah, I'll lose admin power. I guess I can go to Ravensburg and there shouldn't be any troops there. Just beat them. At least we should be able to. Oh, friendlies are attaching to me. 
Savoy has rivaled me. Well, I did not expect that to happen. And Burgundy is no longer at war. They were at war with Provence. Is Provence alive? Yes, they are. Okay, going to Ravensburg. If more people attach to me, I'm just going to Treviso with that army. And now let's conquer Ravensburg. Yeah, I'm going to increase speed to 4. Leave my capital alone. We should have way more troops. Yeah, we kind of do, but we still need to be careful. Piecing them out one by one is going to be safer that way. We just um, stay with the uh, Venice and Genoa as the main participants. When we get ri rid of those three, it will be a bit easier. I can also ask them for war reparations. Can they vassalize you? No, I cannot. What I can do is... Oh, I can force your religion. Do I want to? Sure. No, they will not accept. And all treaties for some prestige and give me all your money. And that's it. And we do have quite a lot of troops in this army. I should probably go around here somewhere. Oh, will be will be the attacker into roll? Sixteenth. Eleventh, yes we will. I don't want to be attacker to be the attacker in a mountainous province. Oh, it would be just 1,000 troops, though. Now you'll leave on the 19th. We'll get there on the 26th. You'll be there on the 19th. So we'll just wipe them. Bam. Okay, uh, if we move to Treviso, they'll probably get the first. Third? Third. Oh, same day, actually. What if I split off cavalry? Well, they'll probably get killed. Although I could join this arm in this battle here. Yeah, I think that would be better. Let's join this battle. Maybe we can get there in time and help them. Western arms trade. We are losing in Western arms trade all the time. Come on, join the battle. Okay, it was a bit easier thanks to that. Should I attack you in my capital freely? Hmm. I'm not sure what the Venetians will do. Just taking aliens. It would be so much easier if we could just... Hmm. This is hills. Attacking them would be nice, but I can go through Salzburg and then down to Treviso. Might be better. Just observe their armies closely. Yeah, this is a good defensive spot in Treviso. And we're blocking them off. They could attack from two sides simultaneously, though. Okay, the Polish will deal with the enemy army down here. We can invest in a new idea we don't want to. We can get a new advisor we don't want to. Does this uh, Augsburg want wants peace? Sure, I'm going to ask you for war reparations. All your money. And some alliances broken. Go. Okay, Salzburg's next. Oh, Bohemia and Salzburg entered an alliance. Yeah, we have effectively cut them off from any reinforcements, which is good for us. And I also I want Treviso and Venice itself. Salzburg should surrender soon. Come on, surrender. They have. Now we can't take them because Austria has taken them in the province. What I can do. What I can do is extort them for money. And cancel their alliances so we get some bonus prestige. Because my prestige is shit. Uh, right. Come on, need need that province. We'll have a hard time getting on the island though. Oh, did you wipe them? I think the Hungarians wiped them. Okay, what I want to do now is gain control 
of Genoa, of the Genoan siege. We really hope that the Hungarians would transfer it to us when it's done. I'm just going to send one unit there, so it is not abandoned. Maybe two, two units, just in case. Oh, I can't move there? No, now I can. Could I move here instead? No. You can't really do automatic transport because uh, of the Venetian fleet and the Genoan fleet. They're actually both quite powerful. Right, um, well... Oh, a new monarch in Hungary. That is interesting to me. Interesting. Crusade against the Ottomans. Well, that is certainly going to be very helpful if we are attacked by the Ottomans. I don't think I will be starting a war against them. Oh, and the Austrians are fighting rebels. We have been warned by the Ottomans. That is interesting. Good to know. I mean, I'm not planning any new wars in the near future. Also, Burgundy. Let's be friendlier. Where's my royal marriage with you? We had a royal marriage just a second ago. Oh, I hate you so much sometimes. Did they? Did we die? No, they just broke the marriage. Oh, screw them then. No, no, I have to make friends with Burgundy, just in case. It's still three years that it can trigger. Probably won't. Truce with Verdun, I don't even remember I had a truce with Verdun. Okay, who else is in the war? Right, we have peaced all the people we don't want anything from. Now we will be getting the people we actually want something from. And I should send someone over here. Yeah, I definitely should. Just so they'll be able to transfer stuff to us. Don't attach to me, and just give me Azov, for example. Burgundy, um, sure, I'll recall. If we take at least one province for ourselves, then they should transfer all the rest to us. Alright, trading maps. How's that siege going? Slowly. Siege by Moldavia, that should be uh, transferred to us when it's done. Also, this siege is problematic because they're unblockaded, but there's nothing I can do about that. A great synod. Ooh, stability. No, no. Let's boost Patriarch Authority. It's good to have four. Protestant Reformation, that was fast. I don't think you can change from Orthodox, no. That's a pity, we should be able to. Uh, right, Siege of Genoa is over. We control the capital, that is going to give them some serious war exhaustion. Hopefully I can also take Corsica. I think I'll try to use automatic transport. I mean, there is going to be a sea battle here. Naval battle. Oh, you know what? Wait, they're leaving. They have now left. Let's try and get you over there. No, run, 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 run. Be fast, be fast. No, this did not work. We lost all our ships. Well, at least now we know. Okay, we have occupied a lot of territory. Let's go send you to Crimea, just in case um, if, if the Hungarians abandon it and so on. Um, we'll be signing a separate peace with Genoa, taking a lot of land. Oh, war exhaustion, that is bad. Let's drop that a bit. I can now convert freely, good to know. Not really going to do that, at least now, not now. And there's some Genoan troops here, so just... Who's in here? It's us and Austria. I can't risk moving our troops away. Because if Austria assumes the con control of the siege, it can be a problem. But I would like to reinforce Genoa itself as well. So it's a slightly difficult situation. Um, actually, Venice, would you give up your capital? You would, in fact, not give up your capital. Actually, you wouldn't give up anything yet. Uh, oh, because I don't have a fort in the area. Right. Nexus is a subject, but the knights aren't. Unfortunately, I can't get to the knights. So we can't do anything about that. But I can probably take Crete and then fabricate London. So, yeah, there's that. Peace offer from Genoa. They're getting desperate. Actually, how much would you accept, Genoa? 
Let's say I want Corsica. Oh, right, they were not co-belligerent because I didn't want to call them an co-belligerent. For that one simple reason, which is, they, I think they had an alliance with France or something. Oh, you would not give me a capital. Yeah, I think I have to wait for full occupation. Then I can just take this trade center, which is amazing. Yeah, let's wait. We're almost done. Crimea is over. Or rather, the siege of Crimea is over. Should probably send someone to Kaffa as well. I think Kaffa is a good province. Treviso is taking forever. You guys just stay here. Corsica is probably of lesser consequence. We occupied Kaffa. Naval, re naval research wrong. I will lose diplo power. My prestige is way too low now. You go and take Theodora for me. Um, will you know accept anything now? Because we have all their forts. It's clear the offer. They would pretty much accept anything right now. I can take Genoa proper. And some other bits. And Dart is bad. It could cause them to... Well, that could cause a big coalition. Venice, Ferrara, Genoa, Lucum, and to a Milan, Pisa, Papal State, and Savoy. That is bad. But this province is amazingly good. Coastal center of trade. Hmm. I can't really take anything here, can I? Can't make it into a core. Uh, what's the coring range? Maybe I can in, in, increase my technology. Uh, wait a minute. Colonial. Effective distance infinite. No, oh, that's because we have blockaded ports. That's not a clear indicator. Still, uh, maybe you can see it through here. It'll say what the distance is. Mm, no, it doesn't say it. Unfortunate, but at least we could take the islands here. How about Venice itself? Can I get your capital from you? No, because we don't occupy any forts. How about those two? Yeah, I could do that. And we wouldn't really get a coalition. Cool, how about Crete? Yeah. How about this? No, too much. Oh, probably because of the fort. Yeah, there's the fort that we haven't occupied. Is this why? Yes. I could probably ask for Kofu. When it's taken. Mm, and that can lead to a coalition. And if we take stuff from Genoa as well, that will certainly lead to a coalition. Hmm. Should I leave Genoa alone? I'm wondering, what if I just, uh, I mean, taking Genoa itself is an amazing thing, but maybe we should focus on Venice more, and take from Genoa, maybe just Corsica? What if I just took Corsica, that's 12 aggressive expansion, and maybe this place here, that's not a lot, we would expand our coring range significantly, now this is a coalition, then we can take the rest from Venice and maybe face a coalition, but maybe not. Okay, which is better? Taking this province or taking all the Venetian things? That's 27 development, that is 29. This is a coastal center of trade, this is also a coastal center of trade. Let's see which node has more trade in it. Um, the Genoan one, but we already do have some uh, power in Venice. Hmm. Development is pretty high in both the provinces. Uh, I can't take all of that. I would like to take all of that. I can't. Because we'll get coalitions and massive ones. Mm, maybe something else. How about a vassalization? No, no. Can't really get a vassalization out of you. I could cancel some of your alliances. Annul your alliance with France. Get those two provinces. 
which isn't a lot, but it is something. Let's me fabricate lots of claims. And then get war reparations and all your money. How about that? Maybe. Or I could just take your capital and get a massive coalition. Yeah, without a claim it is problematic. But it is not part of the empire, is it? No, it isn't. Hmm. Well, strategically it might be better to take small things from Genoa only. So for peace. Yeah, just take Corsica and how much development will that be anyway? It's five, not a lot, and eleven, also not a lot. And this is 27, but if I decide to take this, just, ah, damn it, can't click. If I decide to take this, look at the aggressive expansion. That would be manageable, but I still want to take some stuff from Venice. So let's clear that up. And yeah, indeed, take Corsica and Chio. Cancel your alliance with France. Get war reparations, all your cash. And release nations, Corsica 2%, not really interested in that. Britain cause not interested. Give up claims in Georgia, no. The Savoy. I guess I can cancel all, all your alliances. Yeah, let's do that. It's not the perfect situation. We could have taken more land. Still, I think it's a pretty good one. So, maybe I should not have cancelled the alliance with Venice. Let's look at the aggressive expansion map mode. It's not that bad. But now, if we take something from Venice. Let's forget Kofu. They still will not accept. Well, when I take Kofu, they will. Still. Aggressive expansion, this is going to be too bad. No, I can't do that. I could theoretically take Treviso. What if I just take uh, a lot of land outside their jurisdiction? Or rather, you know, far from the Empire. I can take the Knights. I could take Corfu, probably. Yeah, this would be quite a lot of land and without any negative consequences. Let's wait for a bit. See if the Polish can uh, take coffee for me. And if I can perhaps move here. Seems like I cannot. Like I cannot. Uh, oh, bait is working. Let's beat them now. Whoops. That's not good. Seriously, how are you so good? How are you winning this? It's just RNG, apparently. Well, at least the Austrians can beat them. I'd like to get to Venice proper, but apparently I'm not going to. I need to merge those guys. And don't attach to me anymore. Do what you want. Protestant entrenchment in Austria. Alright, uh, was it Austria that uh, got the Reformation? Truth with luck has ended. Oh, right, let's improve relations with them. Maybe we can annex them after the war. Oh, also, it is time to end the episode now. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.